she actually came to me with her child for food intolerance testing, who was suffering with really, really intense migraines. So bad they would have to ring an ambulance for the child and put school and everything, yeah. And so the child got huge relief, you know, I was saying keep a log of the headaches. There was no headaches for, um, actually, she didn't have, she, she brought her again. I haven't heard from her since the child came three times, which is always a good sign. Um, but the mom did come intermittently in between that with the hips, the backache. She explained to me that for 13 years, she didn't even tell me actually when she first came that that was a problem. She wanted food intolerance testing. And when I realized she couldn't get up on the plinth, I thought, yeah, you haven't met, met, mentioned that you're in pain. So yeah, she had been suffering for 13 years since the birth of her last child. She physically couldn't get up out of the bed in the mornings. If she, if she could not sit up, she'd have to roll over. Um, oh God, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fall through the bed, roll over, uh, support herself, or ask the children to come, and they would, they would come and heave her up. And this just became normal for her. So yeah, um, after, after investigating um, what was going on with the body, with the spine, realized her hips were completely torqued. There was a lot more going on. Food intolerance, very high intolerance to gluten. When, she, when we combined, she came for three treatments, and after the first one, she sat up off the plinth and got up. Now, I couldn't even believe that because it was such an ordeal for her to be able to even get up on the plinth. She explained to me the next time, the next visit, that she couldn't believe she'd woken up and sat up in the bed and just got out of the bed and it was two hours later and she realized oh my god that was the first time in 13 years i have been able to sit up and get out of the bed without difficulty the pain had become normal for her so yeah she's doing really well now um i always i have a long hallway in my in my home and i always had a client to walk first i'd always check the alignment the posture you can see if this hips torqued generally or one shoulder lower than the other or you know a leg turning in there's a lot of indications of structural misalignment i suppose and there's a lot of reasons for backache that was just one case there's plenty of others i've also worked with a guy who was in a car accident who had <coughs> spinal surgery again he uh he was since the surgery he was suffering with constipation really bad swelling everything he ate he was bloated and crippling pain wasn't sleeping, taking a lot of medication. Again, he, uh, where they had cut into his back for the operation is correction points for the muscle testing that we do. So you will see as I demonstrate, I'm going to demonstrate some muscles today that would correlate with backache. Obviously there's a load of things that could be going on, but today for demo purposes, if I have time, it'll be three or four muscles. I will, I will show you how I muscle test what circuit they're related to and how we can balance or correct accordingly. So as you've heard already, we work with the whole person, the MCP. So there is often um, an emotional factor in, in healing of the body. It may be holding you back from healing. Uh, with the lower back, it can be feelings of not being supported, um, financial worries, you know, uh, family stability maybe not great, or you know, just not being supported in general life finances. Um, yeah, there's also factors. For example, this man who had the operation, he had taken to drinking coffee to keep him, you know, to get him around. It was giving him an adrenaline lift. Uh, so he started to drink an awful lot of coffee, which was replacing a small amount of water that he did drink. Um, I'll demonstrate the first muscle I would demonstrate is the psoas muscle. It's highly correlated with um, depression. <coughs> the first muscle generally we would go to check as a kinesiologist. Um, and yeah, you know, this client was drinking up to eight cups of coffee a day, um, and maybe two glasses of water. When he changed that, stayed off the wheat, um, worked on all the large intestinal points, I'll explain as I go, and th that man, there was a huge difference, a huge difference. His, his hips were also torqued as well, um, and as you can imagine, any muscles related to fear have an effect on the skeleton. Our muscles keep our skeleton balanced, and if our muscles are not functioning properly, then the skeleton won't, won't be supported as well as it should be. So, all that I'll explain as I go. Um, if, uh, have I any volunteers at all? If, if, even if it's slight tiredness in the back, would you like to come up please? Thank you so much.
energy is really strong. <laughs> <laughs> Your shoes, guys, you can start. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. right. Hi, what's your name? Lorraine, lovely to meet you. How are you? You can mind if I place your head up this side? Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Um, does it matter if I leave my shoes on? Um, you have toes people out, do you? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Generally, they would come off, but it's yeah. fine. Once I, once I have access to the toes, we're fine. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, Deirdre. How, how long have you had back in for? Uh, since my twenties, since I was on board. So. Okay, okay, you can see how, you know, so many people just overlooked it. Uh, I'm sure everybody in this room either had a family member or a friend or had experienced it. Um, so, would you drink much water per day? No. This is what you generally hear all the time. Um, would you, uh, is it better when you move around or is it... You know, in the morning, are you really tight and stiff? Morning, I'm tight, and then yeah. when I move around, so this is up. up a little bit. Okay. Can you sit for long periods, or do you have to keep moving about? Um, I can sit, but I'm slouchy and well, I'm trying to. I couldn't sit in a straight yeah. straight chair for long. Okay. So that would already um, signal to me, you know, that there's there's something structurally. If you can't sit straight in the, in the in the chair, then it's not comfortable. Then there's something going on. Yeah. So perfect. Um, and. Is it okay for me to test muscles on um, on your legs? I would be asking to oh, raise yeah. your legs. You're able to yeah. lift your legs yeah, and everything. Yeah. Okay. You have to be very careful with um, back okay. back lines, just in case there's a, they're unable to lift the legs, or it could be causing oh, problems. Okay. So the first muscle I'm going to start off with is called the psoas muscle. The psoas muscle originates from the thoracic twelve here and all the way down to number number one to number five. The muscle originates there. It comes around the hips and it supports the hips, basically. So it's, it's involved in a lot of hip pain, back pain. Um, it's on the circuit of the kidney. So when I say on the circuit, it doesn't mean if it shows weak that there is a problem with your kidney. What it means is that there's something not functioning properly on the whole circuit. It might be energetic, it might be nutritional, chemical, vitamins, minerals, it might also be um, it might also be emotion. There might be an emotional component. Um, emotion, it's emotion, it's energy in motion. So it affects the body, it affects the energy of the body, the life force of the body also. So uh, for the first one, I'm going to ask you if you can raise your leg straight up, yeah? And just turn the toe out towards the audience and out a little bit, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will be supporting you here and, and from the inside here okay. and hold. Okay, and that's super strong. Relax that leg all the way down. Okay, and this one, turn the toe out and out towards you. Okay, and hold. Okay, relax. Okay, so what's actually going on is I can feel her muscles are hypertonic instead of weak. <laughs> um, yeah, wasn't planning on this demonstration, but what here we go. Um, so a hypertonic muscle basically is, again, a muscle that's not functioning properly. There's something going on in the circuit. For example, if I am to do this, this muscle is switched on and this one is off. A hypertonic muscle doesn't switch off, it stays switched on all the time. So it's an indication of something's not functioning as well. Um, so let me see if I could try this first of all. So if you wouldn't mind to hold this glass of water just on your navel there or close to your navel. Yeah. The reason we put it on the navel is because it was the first energy feed from the mother, it was the first life force. Um, so it's a strong, it's a strong energy connection. Raise up this leg again, please turn the toe out. Okay, you okay? Yeah, yeah support the leg, hold. No? Okay, relax the leg back down again and raise it out. And hold. Okay. Okay, let me see if I can switch off this muscle first. As you can see, we get quite complex. <laughs> okay, so we have a psoas muscle. I just need to slip my finger down here. Yeah, okay. You can take off the sandal if you want. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I need to know that her muscle is working properly, yeah. that I can switch it off. Um, if this is just, I, I know because of experience that her muscles are hypertonic, but I'm just showing you how, how I would. Okay, and raise up the leg, turn the toe out and hold. And you can see that that's not switching off, so it is hypertonic. Um, 
So I've got to go ahead and fix this. So we need to know how I know this muscle will be working properly is when I'm able to switch it off. It's functioning properly. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this okay. without getting too complex. It'll work anyway. So the emotional component with the solus, the kidneys, um, is fear. And you don't need to tell me fear or worry. So I'm wondering, is there anything, when I say that, does something pop into your mind? Yeah. Okay, perfect, great. Let's see, does it unlock one of the muscles? It may or may not. Raise up this again, turn the leg out towards me. Okay, and I want you to think of that fear or worry mm -hmm. into your forebrain. Have you got something? Mm -hmm. Good. And you can see how weak the leg is going, okay? So that's demonstrating how the emotional thought is a factor in that leg. Now you see me trying to turn that off, it wasn't possible until, um, until Deirdre um, brought the emotional thought into it. So that's having a huge effect. Um, if I was going a bit deeper, I would say, okay, did something happen 20 years ago? And is that when the fear started? Think about that situation now, all of that. You know yourself, whatever's in your brain is relative because it's working with this. Okay. Okay, so um, because there's an emotional factor involved, I, I thought there might this might happen, so I brought just a little back flare remedy, which we sometimes use in kinesiology. We have a lot of tools. You can be as creative as you want with, with, your, with your treatments. Um, they're absolutely amazing for calming the emotional body and supporting the emotional body. So let me see, let's go with this. I'm going to just rest this onto your neck there, yeah. Georgia. Bring back up the leg for me, turn the toe out towards me, okay. And I want you to think of that emotion, the fear, the worry again. Have you got it? And hold. And you can see how strong the leg has gone since I've introduced the back flare, so that's helping. Um, a change is relevant. It's not a yes or no answer, it never is, a change is relevant. Um, are you okay if I put some uh, yeah. back flare on this song? Um, there is alcohol in this as well. Oh, yeah. Flashing on. <laughs> <laughs> <Try> to drops. Two <laughs> drops though. Okay, perfect. You needed more than two drops there, did you? Okay, perfect. And, and, and the taste will be spicy. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's preserved in brandy. Okay. So if you could just indicate the tummy bones here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So the correction points are one inch out and one inch up. Uh, so I'm going to rub these points if that's okay. What I'm doing is working with the lymph fluid of the body. So the lymph fluid cleans and feeds the body. Um, it often gets stagnated or stuck in the body, which means then that that corresponding organ or muscles cannot get fed everything they need. So there may be um, a lack of nutrients getting to the kidney. There may be the fear factor that's Gripping on, you know, I, I often think when, when the soul is quite hypertonic, it is a big fright or a fear or a worry that the person's going through. Okay, the body stiffens. If you think about it, when you get a fright, you automatically tense, everything goes hypertonic. So it's just to be mindful. Okay. So if you, if you want to close your eyes, you can. Sometimes it's more. Okay. So I'm rubbing these correction points. Generally, what I ask the client is if um, they're feeling any tenderness or pain in there. Um, feels like somebody's rubbing on a bruise yeah. and it passes maybe after 20 seconds depending again if this is going on 20 years we won't be here 20 years now but <laughs> you know it might, may take a little bit longer it's easing off it's easing off already brilliant and you continue to take um, the little bit for emotional oh. stress okay oh, yes i can feel that this, this one with the side is a little bit worse yeah um, I'm also going to do a bit of an E. Okay. No lot of loss in the indicator yet. Let me see. Just going to check this for a second. Okay. If you raise back up this leg and turn the toe out towards me. And hold. Okay. And keep thinking of the stress. Hold. Okay. That's not good. Perfect. So vitamin E also supports. This muscle and an awful lot of back ache an awful lot of backache. Um, if I have time to demonstrate a few more muscles um, and I don't run over on the clock, you'll see that the other muscles that are related to the large intestine, um, I can feel it there, yeah, yeah. so if you need me to back off on the pressure. Oh, just keep going, just keep going in okay. I also like to think, and you can rub these points for yourself when you go home. Okay. Um, I would encourage you when you're rubbing them to maybe say I'm releasing any fear I'm holding on to. Maybe use an affirmation daily. I find all of this really helps. Um, 
an affirmation of I move forward fearlessly or mm -hmm. I'm delighted to be worried free, any, any kind of positive statements like that. So you're retraining your subconscious mind also. So it's off a little yeah. bit, yeah. yeah. There's points on the back. Thank you. And you can just allow your whole weight to rest there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when, when the back ache has been going on for a long time, or any, any emotional imbalance in the body, any physical imbalance in the body, it can often be quite tender. I've obviously experienced all of this as well myself. Um, there has been times I've had to stop the kinesiologist. <laughs> I can't take it, and they're barely touching. Um, I know that now because I, I because I'm working on clients every day. Um, I think, oh my God, it could be so acute, but it does pass after twenty seconds. But it's okay. Yeah, great. Okay, I'm just going to go around this side. Just thank you for a moment. So again, this is me working on the physical body. We've also already brought in the emotional component. And the chemical component would be the vitamin E, um, the chemical structure, changing the chemical structure in the body, needing vitamins or minerals, um, every muscle has a different, different options. Um, I'm just going to ask you to, um, so forgive me if you, sorry, where is it? So the points on the head, I'm just holding underneath here, uh, just below our <laughs> occipital protuberance. Um, the points on the head increase the blood flow to the organ, to the, sorry, energizing the whole circuit. Okay, and the energy's flowing really quite strong there now. Excellent. So yeah, I spoke about the MC. The electrical um, connection then, or how we would manage that. Generally, I'm asking the body through finger modes as well, but I don't. I don't need to always do that. So there's um, meridians running all over the body. They're all connected. It's the energetic body. Acupuncturists work with moving energy through the body and connecting everything up. So the um, I'm just going to you just relax again. So the kidney meridian. Starts at the sole of the foot. Really, really powerful to get done. Right, cool. So if we bring this leg back up in the air. So we always retest our work. Turn the toe out towards me. Um, this is the beauty and the this is what really blows my mind with kinesiology that you see instant results. Okay, so we have a strong muscle, which we did anyway, but it was hypertonic. I need to know I can turn it off. Sorry. <laughs> and hold. See? And should be back to strength now, hold. Excellent. So, and is it okay if I yeah, take this yeah. one off? Yeah. Turn the toe out. Okay, and hold. Perfect. And hold. Oh, yeah, it's gone already. <laughs> okay, and hold. It's back to strength. Perfect. So, um, I now want you to bring the emotional thought, the fear, the worry, the anxiety back to your mind. So I'm checking now to make sure that this emotional thought is not causing an imbalance in her, on her kidney channel or kidney circuit again, okay? And if it did, I would just have to go and do a little bit more work with the head or, so, is that in your mind? Hold. Can you see the leg stays strong? Perfect. So now if you think, or that situation comes to your mind or you're confronted with it, what happens is physiologically, you're no longer weakening or, or in your case, going hypertonic. You know, the body, so it just, it just helps the body. It's like giving it tools to heal itself. Um, and of course you can continue to both those points, one inch out either side from the belly button and one inch up, yeah. And you're looking for the tender spots. Vitamin E as well, back there. One drop at a time, two drops at a time. Um, okay, uh, uh, how are we doing for time, guys? Am I am I okay to keep going or? 
No, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, the next thank, you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Deirdre. Um, and be very mindful when you sit up, walk yeah. your back. Yeah, right. Take a moment there at the edge yeah. of the bed, just as we go working with your balance and energies. Okay, okay. you yeah, okay? Fine, yeah, Perfect. Perfect. Just take stock of how you feel when you put your two feet on the floor. So notice a change in yeah. the body. You would, yeah, you would definitely feel lighter. You would um, feel relaxed. Yeah, more relaxed. More relaxed. A little yeah. bit closer. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, thank you so thank much you. for having me. Thank you. Um, okay. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> say at the start I teach yoga also so I very much um, you know of, uh, alignment of the body is, is really my thing um, so yeah I see a lot of a simple one muscle balance can actually help somebody to walk properly again or to sleep properly or to sit properly in a straight chair it's amazing um, that technique when I was only training in the foundation course that technique um, I had a friend who went into a spasm and was completely locked over we were camping in France completely locked over couldn't move and I hadn't even learned that muscle yet and I pulled out my books and I figured <laughs> I'm just, there has to be something in here for that you know I pulled out my books and uh, I was able to rub those points I rubbed a couple of other ones related to the large intestine obviously I couldn't test any muscles because the person couldn't physically move and after 10 minutes I'm not joking, the person stood up, was looking for the pain, and it had been going on for four days, you know, niggling on and off. It blew my mind, there was no question for me after that, that kinesiology was the most powerful um, tool, healthcare, you know, integrated healthcare system that I've ever seen. Anyway, best of luck, enjoy the rest of your day with all the lovely things.